Hello everybody, my name is Darkrow and welcome. Today I will be teaching you guys how to set up your very own hackless Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X or Y Egglock. What I mean by hackless is that we will not be using power saves or anything like that. This is for us in the community that don't necessarily have access to this software or don't want to use it. Either way, this tutorial will provide you the necessary instructions you need to set up your own Egglock. First up, you're going to want to complete your living decks. Your living decks is if you don't know, where you obtain a copy of every single Pokemon. This does not mean evolving Bulbasaur to Venusaur and that's it. This means getting a copy of Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. You need a copy of every single non-mythical Pokemon. If you want a list of the mythical Pokemon you don't need, like Mew, Jirachi, and Celebi, I'd highly recommend looking online. The next thing you're going to want to do is export your living decks to your Pokebank. This may cost $5 a year, but the Pokebank is a very nice resource. Oh, and by the way, you're going to need two copies of the of the games. You're going to need either a copy of Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, another copy of Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, or a copy of X and Y, another copy of X and Y. Just any of the two newest Pokemon 3DS games. You'll need two of them. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to obtain 40 or more Pokemon to trade for eggs. If you don't have them, I'd highly recommend just breeding 40 Pokemon since you don't need to waste Pokeballs that way. Or you can just capture a bunch of Pokemon on the first routes of either Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire or X and Y. Since the catch rate on those routes, particularly in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, is 100%. So you don't need to worry about missing even with a Pokeball. Now that you have those, export those to the Pokebank as well. Those, and they're going to be separate from the Living Decks. Do not trade 40 Pokemon from the Living Decks. Trust me, you, you don't want that. Anywho, the next thing you're going to want to do is gather as many Pokemiles as possible. In case you weren't aware, Pokemiles are a form of Pokemon currency based on in-game activity and in-game achievements. The most time-saving way of getting these things, meaning the best way to get Pokemiles while you're doing something else, like a job or sleeping, is to basically go in Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire and just use your bike, hold down the circle pad somehow, and go around the island on the Battle Frontier, or whatever it's called, infinitely. Because for every thousand steps you take, you'll earn a Pokemile. This generates you Pokemiles while you're busy doing other things in your life, which I suppose that most of you will be busy with. So yeah, the most efficient way of getting Pokemiles is to Wonder Trade one Pokemon continuously, regardless of what you get on Wonder Trade. So let's say you Wonder Trade off a Poochyena, then let's say you get a Wurmple. Wonder Trade off that Wurmple and repeat the process and you'll get around 7 Pokemiles per Wonder Trade. You'll also get Pokemiles from a bunch of different methods within the game as well. I don't know them all and I won't list them here, but those are the two fastest ways to get Pokemiles if you're intentionally trying to grind for Pokemiles. Now, you're going to want to get around 50,000 or more Pokemiles so that you can get 200 or more rare candies. I will explain all the numbers later, but that is what you're aiming for, around 50,000 Pokemiles. And this can be across several different games because you can transfer Pokemiles to one game from another. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is register online at a place called 3ds.pokemon-gl.com if you haven't already. And once you've registered online and made an account there, you're going to want to register your games with that account that you just made. A detailed tutorial can be found here at 3ds.pokemon-gl.com slash support slash guide slash registration. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save the game while connected to the internet after you've registered your game with your account. This will transfer those Pokemiles right to your online account and now you can use them. The reason that we're trying to use the Pokemile online accounts rather than the in-game stuff at Lumios is because in Lumio City, the rare candies cost 500 Pokemiles per rare candy. However, online, they cost 250 miles per rare candy, half the price, so you'll need to do half the work. It's nice. You should do that. Next thing you're going to want to do is transfer the poke your Pokemiles between your accounts. This can be done by clicking on the menu, then going to Profile, Pokemilish Club, and then there should be a button if you have two or more games registered that says transfer Pokemiles between games. Then you just follow the necessary steps and transfer as many Pokemiles as you want between one game from another. Transfer all your Pokemiles to the game you are not starting a new file on. Repeat, do not transfer the Pokemiles to the game you're starting a new file on, because if you start a new file, all those Pokemiles will be kaputs gone, and yeah, you don't want that. 
because then you're all all your hard work goes to nothing. So then start a new game in on one of them, X or Y, Omega Ruby F Sapphire, doesn't matter. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get to the first city with a Pokemon Center because you can't trade for eggs or exchange encounters for eggs until you get to the first Pokemon Center. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is import your living decks and the 40 plus Pokemon that you caught to trade for eggs into the new game. Now, here's the big question. Why did you need to get a living dex? Well, this is to make sure that you can buy rare candies online, because you need 20 badges. What are badges? Badges are basically in-game achievements that the game recognizes you for getting and sort of puts them online for you to see and brag over and stuff like that. And if you have the Kalos Dex, or the Living Dex, it gives you 18 out of 20 badges you need to get rare candies on the Pokemilet shop. Now, you only need two other badges after you do this, which you will get from either trading all your eggs into the game, or just by simply saving about 20 times. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is trade all those 40 Pokemon or more that you prepared for the eggs and get all the 40 or more eggs that people either gave you or you're prepared for yourself, I don't know. And you're gonna wanna make sure that the eggs are almost hatched before you trade them to your new game, or you're gonna have a bad time. Because if you don't have them ready to hatch when they've been traded to your new game, you're gonna spend hours just trying to hatch them, and no one likes that. Another quick way to help them hatch is you can transfer a Pokemon with either the Flame Body or Magma Armor ability to speed up the egg hatching process, and connect to the internet to have your friends send you hatching powers, which will also speed up the process. However, there is a caveat to this. Even though I set all my eggs to hatch one step after walking away from the PC box, for some reason, a day later, it still took me around 20 or more steps for the eggs to hatch. So for some reason, if you leave the eggs to sit in the PC over time, they will gain ne needed steps to hatch. I don't know why, but it's something that I've observed. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and transfer your Pokemiles from the game you put them on originally to your new game. Transfer all the Pokemiles you've gathered to your new game after all this has been done. This way, you can now go online, you have 20 badges, and now you can buy all the rare candies you need for your Egglock. And then you should be good to go following the regular Nuzlocke rules and having a good time in the Egglock. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful or helpful. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if it didn't really help you, and then tell me why in the comments below it didn't really help. Explain how I can do better because I'm always looking to improve. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is Darkrow, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace. Bye!